We are joined here by Farooq Amanoto. Farooq, you won the tournament last year and you defended your title once again. Mumbai is a lucky place for you. Yeah, honestly, I like I like Mumbai and I like Maharashtra. So I'm really uh, feel yeah, happy nice. myself here. I like everything in Mumbai. Even you know, I read a lot of books about about Mumbai. So it's really a lucky place for me. Yeah. And Maharashtra. Uh, Today I played against um, Vasquez Schroeder from Chile, and um, I need to win. I was white, so I tried to to to, to, to fight today. Uh, a few days ago we we played in Bhubaneswar, and uh, I tried, but it was draw in rule, uh, you know, in, in Ita Italiano. So and uh, you know, yesterday I thought what what to play against him if he will play e5. I thought. Maybe Scotch, maybe Italiano, maybe Rui Lopez. But in the game after e4, he surprised me first. He directly played c5. Maybe he and wanted honestly, to also. That's yeah. right. I think he, he and not, I'm, I'm sure that he, he wants to win me today. So he played c5, and usually uh, his main opening is Nidorf. So, and I thought that he will go in Nidorf variation. Even once we played the match, in ICC and we played some few games in Sicilian in Nidorf. But after night C3 he surprised me again. He played G6. Slightly I was shocked. You know, uh, I thought to play solid like something like Bishop E2, Castle, Rookie 1, something like this, or to fight. And a uh, few minutes I thought I was not confident of course because I knew that he prepared something there. But uh, then I decided that okay. Only brave heart can win tournament, and I played bishop e3, okay. bishop g7, f3, castles. I played queen d2, knight c6. It's a main theory. Bishop c4, bishop d7, and usually I'm playing h4, and I played h4. And uh, you know, most of players usually directly playing h5, but he played rook c8, bishop b3, and he played knight e5. From this position, I was out of the theory because, okay, I understand that h5. If I played h5, I must to play h5. So I pushed my pawn. Knight takes h5. He took, and I decide, okay, if he playing so risky, I must to to start attack directly. And I played bishop h6. I thought about long castle, but in my opinion, I'm giving him time. Some queen a5 direct jumping, you know, um, I don't know what to do maybe rook c3 his next move and he will get a good compensation yeah, for exchange yeah typical idea so and i decide that i need to do bishop h6 direct he took i took he took on c3 i took by pawn what is the difference in this position and one where you have castle long and this sacrifice uh, it's a big difference because my king still in the center. Maybe, maybe, maybe I will keep my king in the center. Maybe I will make long castle, but also I can have short castle, short castle also. <laughs> you know, this this is different. So I have a choice. For this reason, I decide so still keep my king in the center. He played queen a5, and okay, attacking my pawn on c3. I played knight e2. So what I calculate? I calculate if he will play bishop b5 and it looks logically, uh, he want to take and make some checks or queen c3. Uh, I calculate this option, bishop b5. I decide that I can take, pawn takes, check. Now knight g6 is not so good because uh, it's a pin. Maybe simply I can win material after, after a4. Mm. So he forcing to play king h8. I will take on e7, rook is hanging, pawn is hanging, so no time for bishop e2. And I decide that minimum, okay, some, some unclear position. Sure. Yes, yes, yes. So he, he calculates, so I mean, just a few minutes, and he finds this idea and he played rook c8. Looks absolutely normal and nice. And again, I have a choice what to do. And I find this idea, even, you know, I really like it. Yeah, this is a quite a difficult move to find. Yes, yes, yes. So my idea, 
not start to defense like I can I can start to play solid yes. like like queen d2 and try to keep position but I decide that I must to play aggressively as a way he have a good compensation and uh, even without queens his position will be well so I decide to fight rook d1 and he played uh, principally bishop b5 I played rook d5 I'm pinning and he played e6 yes yes and honestly when i played rook d1 i calculate this option you, you calculated yes, everything yes 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 so i took he took i took he took i made a track king f8 and i took on e5 it looks like we sacrificed two exchanges but 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 uh now i have a very dangerous threat first threat to make a check on h8 and win a rook and second threat to play simply a4 and win a bishop and he cannot uh, save to this uh threat he played rook d8 honestly i saw this move when i played rook d1 but i decide that after a4 i will i will win okay i will have a winning position i i saw this move check uh -huh. i cannot take because bishop e2 check and queen is losing king f2 and here have a check simply and I cannot okay. win material. So for this reason, after rook d8, I must to make check first to prevent his ideas with queen b6, king g8, and now a4. I first, first when I played rook d1, I thought about a4. But when we came in this position, I understood that uh, maybe, maybe it's not so clear. Queen d8. Let's say I will take. And he have a choice, maybe queen h4 check, maybe simply queen d2. Yeah. And I was not sure, honestly, just uh, queen and rook very active and uh, slightly, slightly... Uh, I was not sure, honestly. Yeah. So, then I start to think about some other possibilities and uh, luckily I find it. <laughs> I played bishop c4, I'm preventing all his ideas with the rook d1. And after a6, I'm playing a4. Now Yes, that's right. And uh, the main uh, geometry in this position is that he cannot take by queen because queen g5 and taking a rook with the checks. Fantastic. So, and um, after that, okay, he played h6, I took, he made check, king f2, rook d1, but okay, just here this attack is not so dangerous, I must slightly be accurate. I made the check and took pawn. And. Uh, this is slowly I won. Matter of technique now. Yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, Farooq, you have to tell us, you are no longer as young as you were before. Okay. You also are a trainer. Sure. How do you calculate so well? How do you stay in shape to see all these lines that you calculate? I see. Um, I want to say some advice for, for, for future GMs and the champions. Just try to calculate every day. Just do it like regular. Maybe five, ten positions, fifteen positions, but regular, and uh, you will calculate well. Only, only this rule. If you will follow, you will improve very much. Where do you get this material from? Any book? It's a, a lot everywhere. Even Chesscom, even ICC, even books. Everywhere. It's too much. Just you must to do it. And you also practice? Of course, uh, do it. Yeah. Wonderful. Yeah, yeah, and yeah. are you going to play in Goa now? No, no, no. I'm, going I back. will go home. Yes, yes, yes. Okay, yes. just final question. Sure. How many such trophies do you have at home? Oh, even <laughs> it's tough to count, you know, really. Just, uh, I have some few. It's really, I don't know. Well, we I wish have. you a very sure. pleasant journey back home yeah. and thank you for showing thank us this wonderful game. Thank you, thank you.